Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn through activities. So today we have come up with an interesting and creative activity for you to learn types of computer languages. I am sure you will find this video very useful for you to make a working model on types of computer languages as part of your holiday homework. So let's start. For this activity, we need one thick chart paper and some colored A3 sheets. We also need a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a compass, a protector and nut and bolt. Aim of this art integrated project is to Make a working model to learn types of computer languages, which are lower level language, middle level language and high level language. If you are a teacher or a parent, this working model will help you to teach your students or your child types of computer languages in a creative way. And if you are a student, as I told you before, this activity is very useful for you to make art integrated project on types of computer languages. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now let's start with our activity. In the first step, take a pink sheet of paper and draw a circle of radius. 15 cm on it as shown here. Then carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. Now in the next step, we will take an orange colored sheet and again draw the circle of same size on it that is of radius 15 cm and then cut out this circle. Next. We will take a yellow sheet of paper and this time we are going to draw a circle of radius 10 cm on it. And again, using pair of scissors, cut out this circle. Now lastly, we will take a white sheet of paper and here we are going to draw and cut out a circle of radius 5 cm. Now take this white circle and divide it into three equal parts. For this, we will make angles of 120 degrees each. Next, you have to color these parts with your favorite colors. Like here, I am coloring them with blue, red and green. And then we are going to write the headings as low level language which is also known as machine language. Next, middle level language, which is also known as assembly language. And thirdly, we will write the heading as high level language. Now, take the yellow circle and divide it into three equal parts. And again, for this, we will make angles of 120 degrees each. Next, place the previous circle, this circle, on top of this yellow circle and make sure to match their centers. Now, let's write about the three types of computer languages. First, we'll write about low level language, which is also known as machine language. Low level language uses zeros and ones for instructions. It means all instructions are written with zero and one only. These digits are also called as binary digits. Zero means off and one means on. So computer only understands on and off. So here in this language, we will write instructions as 101011 or 101010 or 101110. 
as you can see all these instructions are written with zero and one only now we are going to write about middle level language which is also known as assembly language this language uses mnemonics for instructions and what are mnemonics these are just keywords using which we can instruct computer to do certain task since it was difficult to give instructions only in zero and one so this middle level language was developed so here we have pre built keywords using which we can easily give instructions to computers for example m o v e c x e b x a d d these are pre built keywords for middle level language next let's write about high level language this language overcomes all the difficulties of low level language and middle level language in this programming is done in a language which is closer to human language this means we can understand the program written in high level language easily so this language uses keywords as well as rules for instructions for example in this language we can write if i is greater than 2 then discount equals to 5% so students did you see it is very easy to write instructions in high level language now we are going to take this pink circle and we will divide this circle into three equal parts in the same way that is by making angles of 120 degrees each then place the yellow circle on this pink circle and make sure to match their centers and then place the smallest circle on both these circles and make sure to match the centers of all these three circles now let's write more about these three type of computer languages on this pink circle first we are going to write about low level language since here we are giving instructions only in 0 and 1 so no assembler or compiler was required but in assembly language we started using mnemonics so middle level language requires assemblers to translate so what is the use of assemblers assembler converts assembly language into machine language and then these instructions are executed by computer now what about high level language high level language requires compiler to translate so what is the use of compiler the compiler reads the instructions written in high level language and then translate them into machine language now take the orange circle and we have to cut out a window out of this orange circle for this we will make an angle of 120 degrees then we will cut along the line but not till the center of this circle so after cutting out the window the orange circle will look like this Now we have done all the preparations for our working model. So let's assemble it. For this, we will take a cardboard of size 35 into 40 centimeters, and we will paste a yellow chart paper on it. Now place the pink circle, then place the yellow circle on top of it, and then the smallest circle. and then make sure to match their centers 
Next, place the orange circle on top of these circles and again match their centers. Now, screw nut and bolt on these circles as well as in the cardboard. Lot of students ask me how to screw this nut and bolt. So, let me tell you. First, you have to make a small hole in the center of all these four circles as well as in the cardboard. Then you have to screw nut and bolt in these holes. So now our working model to understand and learn types of computer languages is ready. You can rotate these circles as shown here. So do write in the comment section if I should make more of such videos. Do press the like button and share my videos and my channel with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.